and they're, they're filming a lot of movies in like in the south right now birmingham and atlanta especially uh because the tax breaks it's way cheaper and uh you know the stunt um the uh stunt director uh don lee they were filming a movie called embattled here in birmingham and uh they came to the gym and uh, used a bunch of us as like background and extras and stuff and then they hired him for season five of cobra kai and uh he kind of threw my name in the hat you know we kind of developed that relationship and got super cool and uh he kind of threw my name in the hat and you know they took it and next thing i know i'm vicente wolf we've seen you make tackles in national championship games and we've seen what you've you know done in the octagon what was that experience like having a, a fight scene against you know johnny lawrence one of the the the, the heels from the original karate kid uh, man it was cool it was quite an experience you know I, I watched all the karate kids you know growing up and uh my kids loved the show so you know when they called me to to be in the show it was kind of surreal you know my kids didn't believe me and i was like all right guys i'll be back in a few days i'm going to shoot cobra kai and it's just cobra kai, uh cobra, cobra kai and uh you know they thought i was full of it and then uh you know i showed them pictures of you know with with william zapka who's johnny lawrence and you know some of the other actors and they thought it was so cool and now that it, it you know it came out you know all the kids in their school watch it so you know now now i you know, I got them a little bit of clout, you know, uh, they're the cool kids at school now. What was it like working with William? Uh, it was cool. You know, that guy doesn't really have to act to play the role of, of Johnny Lawrence, you know, because William Zapka is Johnny Lawrence, you know, um, unless he just like is in character all the time. But, you know, I find it hard for someone to like live in the character. And, you know, I'm, I'm new to acting, so I don't know. Like, I, maybe they do it, but um the little one-liners and zingers that, that he throws in the show you know it just seemed very natural for him and uh like the character and that's not even the same character that he played in the, the karate kid you know like he was like serious and uptight and now he's like loose and uh you know just having fun with it so it was pretty cool you obviously have a fighting career still ahead of you but is acting something that you enjoy is this something you can see yourself doing more in the future yeah, I would love to, you know, should the right opportunity present itself. And, you know, I guess timing is everything. You know, it's a lot less hazardous to my health as well. And as you can see, like, my nose is crooked. So, you know, maybe when I get done fighting, I get my nose fixed and, uh, you know, I try to catapult, you know, myself into a career of acting. What's the dream role? Who is who is it to work with? You know, what what's the dream role for Eric Anders? Um, The role, I don't know, but. You know, maybe something with The Rock, you know, he seems to be like the the guy, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of, of now, you know, like uh, all his movies seem to be pretty surefire that it's going to be a good movie. So I think it would be kind of hard to, to bust with, with The Rock. So um, you know, I think that would be dope. December 3rd, Kyle Dawkins. I don't even know if we know where it is. It's rumblings about Orlando. Orlando. Is it Orlando for sure? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm super excited to fight in front of a crowd. Um, I really hope that they bring the small cage uh, in there, you know, because, you know, like, uh, it's just way better. It's like a third smaller. It's like five feet, you know, on each side smaller um, than the big cage. And so it's just kind of like a fighter's cage. You know, you put the guys on top of each other and girls. So um, you know, that'd be perfect case uh, scenario for me audience noise and a small cage what uh challenges does kyle pose as an opponent comes from a fighting family um man you know he's really good with the submissions and those front chokes you know i know he was in the audience when i grappled uh andre petrovsky uh, a few months ago and i got choked out so i'm sure he's chomping at the bit and uh you know probably thinks that he could do the same thing but you know i think when you put punches in there um, you know, kind of changes the game a little bit. So I would imagine he, he's going to try and close the distance, get close, get it on the ground, and, you know, find his way to, uh, you know, I call him the Darce Knight. So, you know, Darces, Anacondas, things like that, you know. So, you know, I'll have my work cut out for me for sure. 